In 2026, market demand for front-end developers will be going up. And if you want to become one, I've got the perfect plan and resources for you. Follow me. First things first, we need to start by the basics. Learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I recommend Code Academy because they provide really beginner-friendly and fun courses, and most of them are for free. And if you want more interactive courses, I recommend W3School. They've got extensive material on pretty much everything. But let's focus on our goal, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. They provide you with exercises and quizzes to put your knowledge into the test. Then after learning the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I recommend you move on to learning about website composition. I recommend m3.material.io. This is the backbone of front-end development. And if you've ever heard about Material UI, well, it is built on top of this. This will teach you everything about building a front-end UI. It teaches you how to properly choose colors for your website. It has an extensive list about web components and how they are structured. It also goes to teach you component hierarchy and how to properly structure your web components. This is basically the theory behind front-end development. Now let's move on. Any good front-end developer needs to learn how to communicate with the back-end. So learn about fetching APIs. I recommend a 6-minute video from Web Dev Simplified, and if you want a more in-depth tutorial about fetching APIs using JavaScript, I recommend Color Code 30-minute video. Now let's move on to the bread and butter of styling your components and the most loved styling library by tech companies, which is Tailwind CSS. I don't need to recommend any external resources because TailwindCSS.com has it all. They walk you through setting up your Tailwind CSS configuration and how to properly integrate it with any front-end framework, and then you can spend some time on their documentation learning about Tailwind classes. This honestly will save you hundreds if not thousands of lines of CSS and a couple of Tailwind classes. Now let's get more advanced. You need to pick a framework because every tech company will ask you if you know one or two front-end frameworks. So my recommendation is start with React.js because it is very easy and it has a massive ecosystem around it. And I recommend the course React Tutorial Full Course Beginner Pro by Super Simple Dev. This course is very new. It will teach you all the latest features of React 19. So you'll get everything in one single package. So now after learning web composition, APIs, you learn Tailwind CSS, and you picked a framework, now it's time for you to build projects, because project-based learning is the best route to become a good developer. And I also recommend you build templates, for example like React templates, and you could sell them online. And that's a side hustle. Now finally, any developer needs to stay up to date, because the web is always evolving, there's always a new JavaScript framework or features being added to the ecosystem, so I recommend always visiting MDM, developer.mozilla.org. This website has it all. It has documentation, blogs, everything. And every single update that, for example, to HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you'll find it here. Now, if you want to transition to become a full stack developer, I've got a roadmap for you. Link in the down below.